Titanic Stories, The Mail Clerks The Titanic does not only carry passengers, but it even carried a substantial amount of cargo. This includes the mail. As the ship has the RMS title to it, which means the Royal Mail Ship, it was carrying mail for the Royal Mail from UK and mail from the United States Post Office Department. Thus, it was an ocean liner for the transport of transatlantic passengers and mail service between Southampton and New York. Now in this ship, they had a room in the G-deck dedicated for the storage of the letters called the mail room. Parcels, letters, and other valuables were held there to be sorted throughout the journey by five postal clerks. They were Mr. Oscar Scott Woody, Mr. John Star March, Mr. William Logan Gwynn, Mr. James Bertram Williamson, and Mr. John Richard Jago Smith, where three of them were Americans and the last two were British. From the statements of other Titanic survivors, it seems that during the ordeal, the postal workers were going to and from the mailroom, wading in the water in order to save the packages and sacks of mail, bringing them to the top decks as the ship was sinking. They even managed to get around 200 bags out of the 3,000 to the upper decks with the little time they had. Some of the passengers seeing them going to and from urged them to stop, but they all shook their heads and continued with their work in hopes for the mail to be recovered by rescue ships. Unfortunately, they all died on duty as postal workers and they were said to be one of the first people to have died in the Titanic. But what happened to the mail bags after their deaths? Let's just say no one really cared about the mail other than them. Or was it recovered by some secret agent? Who knows? With this, here are bits of stories of the five men who had pride in their job. Mr. Oscar Scott Woody Mr. Woody went to Plymouth, England from the States on the 2nd of April 1912. He was ordered to return to the States on the Titanic from Southampton on the 10th of April as one of the mail clerks on board. He was a married man with no children as he had only been married for around 18 months before his death and sadly, he was supposed to celebrate his birthday on his journey. But on the exact date of his 40 plus birthday, on the 15th of April 1912, the Titanic sank. Mr. John Star March Mr. March was born in New York from an English father and an American mother in October 1861. When he boarded the Titanic, he would have been 50 years old. He had two daughters from his late wife and worked as a marine mail clerk for eight years and had also been involved in eight separate emergencies during that time. That is why it was said that his two daughters have constantly pleaded for him to work in a safer workplace within the postal system. But being accustomed to the sea and he was the oldest of the mail clerks, he ignored his daughter's plea and even assured them that he will never drown at sea. But we all know what happened. It was truly a tragic irony. Mr. William Logan Gwynn Mr. Gwynn was a tall married man of athletic build and had two daughters. During the Titanic incident, he was around 37 years old. He was stationed in England for work and was supposed to return to New York on a different ship called the Philadelphia. But he was informed that his wife was ill and thus he requested to return to New York earlier than scheduled. And because of these series of events, he was then transferred to the Titanic. His widow, Florence, always claimed that what the newspaper wrote about her being seriously ill was utter rubbish, and the reason she collapsed on the day she heard the news was because of the shock she received of the Titanic sinking. So she lived the rest of her life never to remarry and settled in Suffolk, New York, with her mother and two children. Mr. James Bertram Williamson Mr. Williamson was an Irishman who started his career with the post office around the year 1894 as a sorter at the General Post Office in Dublin, Ireland. Though the Titanic was on his first work as a marine mail clerk, but it was only in 1911 that he was transferred to Southampton. It was said that during his transfer in Southampton before his voyage on the Titanic, he was in the process of courting a girl named Gladys Copeland, but seeing how he didn't survive the ordeal, he died a bachelor. Mr. John Richard Jago Smith Mr. Smith was a bachelor and was born in 1877, so at the time of the tragedy, he would be 35 years old. He became an employee of the post office in the early 1900s and had worked with the Sea Post Department on other vessels before. Titanic became his last voyage. When the Titanic struck the iceberg, Mr. Smith was one of the people called to the bridge for a report on how the lower deck was doing, and all he could report was bad news. 